Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25. Today, I got a brand new action figure review for you guys on the newly released Jazzwares Halo Spartan Collection. This is the Deluxe Master Chief with the weapon figure accessory. Um, so, pretty cool. What you get in the box is all right here weapon, data chip, UNSC plinth, uh, M4 or MA40 assault rifle, sidekick, plasma pistol, energy sword, and additional hands. This figure does come with less hands than we're used to normally with like five like two sets of fist open hand trigger finger hand for each um this one you just get the uh you get a set of let's see here uh get a set of trigger finger hands back here they don't have the detail like the little holes on the back of the hand that we're used to you can kind of see they're almost there um but you just get these and then you get the uh, little like open gripping hands. They almost look smaller than what Chief usually has for the Infinite Chief um, They don't look as detailed on the back. They're very smooth Like I said, you can kind of see where the holes kind of are, but not really so you get those you get the Assault rifle uh, very nice paint job dark gray a uh, little white stripe black this one seems a little bit thicker it, it doesn't want to like bend as much as we're used to with like the other infinite chiefs that we gotten from series three and four or whatever um you do get the plasma pistol as well nice paint job i like it i wish it was a little bit more metallic looking um instead of just the flat paint job uh you do get the sidekick pistol as well very nice and then as well you do get the um energy sword which also, like I said, seems like it's a little bit thicker of a plastic. It's a little, little bendy still, but it's almost thick enough to the point where you could almost cut these little middle bits out, and it should be able to hold on its own. Um, uh, that's not all, though. You do get an extra hand here. You get the hand with the weapon in it. Um, it's very nice. You could kind of see the detail on the weapon herself, like the little shoulder pads there, the waist belt, stuff like that. Little like seam lines throughout where the pants would be since, spoiler alert, if you haven't played Halo Infinite already, I'm gonna get into a little bit of a spoilery territory. Um, so this is your warning, uh, you can click off now. But the weapon uh, is basically a Cortana model designed to, I believe, destroy Cortana. So she's like, kinda got her own little clothing design, stuff like that, um, so yeah. You get four different weapons, five extra, four extra hands. Um, you get the nice energy sword holding hand that Chief comes with as well that's on him. Unfortunately, though, mine is very loose, so this Chief is loaded with QC issues, at least for mine. Um, the torso is super wiggly. Uh, the ankles are super loose. He's constantly falling forward. The wrist just constantly spins. There's no effort here. This just... If I, like, turn him a little bit too hard, that spins. This hand's fine, though. I thought it was loose at first, but it's not. It's good. Um, but, yeah, so that's a little bit of a bummer with the Chief. We've seen this Infinite Chief now four other times. We got Series 3, 4, the Walgreens one, and then the 2-pack with the Halo 1 Chief. Um, now, last little accessory, little thing you get. You do get this four-point of articulation weapon figure. She does stand exactly, like, four-ish four -ish inches tall. I personally think this works better for a uh, World of Halo figure and display. I like that the Spartan Collection got some world building, but I just think that the size of this just looks better. Um, if you wanted to have like Chief looking up at the plinth or looking up at the weapon and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think that just looks a little bit nicer, but that's just me. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, now, I have recorded this review twice. I don't know which one you're seeing. You're probably going to see the second one, because the first one is pretty long. Uh, so, there you go. Movement. It's just the shoulders. just swivels. At the uh, hip, she just swivels there, too. This is translucent plastic. The plinth is also a very nice little design, I will say. Um, nice little mold of detail in there. A uh, little nice bronzy color up front. Um, there is a little switch at the bottom and a battery compartment where you can turn the light on permanently on or if you don't want it on you could just hit the button and hold it for the light temporarily the light does shine through her she's got little peg holes that she stands on um the light does shine through her a little bit you can't really see it that well because the like the um like the lights are on i'm not gonna turn them off i did that last time but you can see my hand kind of through the back of it so yeah she's fully translucent in the dark areas um but i think the detail on this figure 
the face, for some reason, Jazzware just can't get faces right. Um, I think the eyes are pretty bad. They're just little, two little black dots. Uh, but I don't know. I just don't feel like this really looks like the weapon, at least in the face. Um, but yeah. Nice little detail. I wish she had leg joints, knees, at least single jointed knees. Um, I wish the ankles actually had a joint. I wish the hands maybe had a joint. The elbows, for sure. Uh, I wish the arms could go up and down. I just feel like you're never going to have her in a pose like this. You can't get her like in any sort of like pose that shows any sort of emotion, dynamic, anything. Um, any sort of, like, uh, I guess, character? Uh, uh, um, personality. There we go. There's the word for it. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit of a bummer. Really quick, we'll do a height comparison on them. I'll do the articulation. Uh, the plinth with the weapon stands just about six inches tall. The weapon herself, like I said, four inches tall. Chief is about seven and a quarter inches tall. And then the little, you know, little hand data chip one is just about an inch and a half. Almost, yeah, inch and a quarter. Um, so, very nice. Uh, Articulation-wise on the chief, can look up that far can look down that much so you can have them look down multiple different things um, shoulders go up that much does have the upper bicep cut double jointed elbows doesn't really matter which one you close first um, they both close the same wrist all do swivel and let me see we'll still do swivel and hinge uh, I apologize if I had the you know the focus on bad um, diaphragm forward and back too far pops out too far back pops out um unfortunately it's just super loose like i said no waist swivel nothing like that legs do go forward that much do go back that much does have the upper thigh cut as well double jointed knees jazz still hasn't gotten the knees yet another plague on the um figures after series one ankles go back that far forward that much super loose like i said ankle pivot very nice toe articulation still pretty cool um but there you go there's your look at all the articulation on the chief it's the same as if you have series three four um the two pack the walgreens one it's the same there's no difference size comparison wise so we got our power rangers dino thunder red ranger our Hasbro, Fortnite, Victory, Royale, The Foundation, um, Marvel Legends, Symbiote, Suit, Spider-Man, our Star Wars, The Black Series, Captain Rex, and we got our G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. So there's your look at all of these guys together. Um, let's get the camera a little bit more centered. So there you go. There's your look at all those. Oh no, we're having avalanches already. Oh, and I just got the new setup. Uh, new display in the background. Technically the same, still Hall of Armor. It's just significantly less since they can't fit in the new zone. Um, I'll get into that more at the end of the video. We'll do a little bit of a recap update so you can click off towards the end. Uh, it, let's see. So, SH figure, it's Goku, Jazzware, Fortnite, um, The Visitor, our 1000 Toys Master Chief which is, I think, everybody's, like, preferred, you know, anymore, because he just looks good, he scales well. He's a little short for six-inch figures for, like, Marvel Legends, but he's good for everything else. Um, we got our Figma Samus, Mezco Stealth Iron Man, and let's get these guys out of here. And last but not least, we got our Moffex Bat Batman. So, there you go. There's your size comparisons with all these other lines, all these other brands. Um, I think this Chief is, you know, like I said, he's the same as we've already gotten. So you know what you're getting into with him. Um, oh, last uh, last size comparison for other brands. Uh, McFarland Space Marine. So there you go. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's the same thing that we've gotten with all, like, you know, the last four Chiefs. Um, mine's loaded with QC issues. I cannot really recommend this chief, um, if they are all the same, like mine. Uh, I can say, though, that this little 
weapon accessory here, the hand one with the data chip. I have tested it. It does work in the Series 4 Chief right here. It does work in the 2-pack Chief right here. It does not work in the Series 1 or 2 Chief. The Series 1 and 2 Chief have a weird little hand peg. Instead of being like, like this, where it's just the single, like, let me see, single rod with the little nub at the end. It has like two ridges going through, and I don't think it has the nub at the end, or it still does. Um, but it does not work with that. If you're going for this figure for getting an energy sword hand for your infinite chiefs that are series 3 and beyond, you know, possibly worth it if you can't get a hold of the Walgreens one. I didn't find the Walgreens one ever. I'm probably not going to buy the Walgreens one since it's just the same as these three all right here. Um, but I did want the weapon. I did want the weapon accessory here. I like those. So if you want this figure for that regard, I think that's worth it. But if you're trying to get this chief because you don't have an infinite chief, I personally like the Series 4 one right here. I like the clean look. Or you go the two-pack route and you get the Halo 1 chief as well. So you get one and infinite if you don't have one. I think that's the better route to go is this one. I really like the battle damage on this one. I think it's the same pretty much as this, if not a little bit better. But they're all varied depending on which chief you get. It's kind of like a luck of the draw. Um, I'm sure not every single one has the same exact battle damage. So there is that to think about. But for like $40, you get four weapons. A nice light up base, a pretty cool four inch figure, and a nice little extra hand accessory with, you know, which is pretty iconic to have the Cortana or the weapon, you know, like that. Um, here's a really quick look at Infinite Chief with the newest Series 5 Kelly and Series 3 Noble 6. Um, so there you go. There's your looks at him with some other, like a female Spartan and a Spartan 3. Uh, so yeah. I just think this chief could have been done better. Like, there's no re like this is unacceptable. He shouldn't be like this. Like, this is me just like hovering him, and he's wiggling and wobbling. And there's just like that's I don't know. I don't know how Jazzwares keeps stepping backwards in the quality. I don't know if it's like the plastic has changed because George was the same way. He was super loose, actually, to the point where he kept just falling out for his torso. So this is another Series 5 figure, just like the Arbiter. I will review Arbiter when I get a hold of it. This figure did come from GameStop online, online pre-order. So I don't know if it's still available on there. If it is, and you really want this figure, I think it's worth it. This figure is the same one that they're releasing at San Diego Comic-Con, the SDCC exclusive one. It's just got a different fancy box. I do know it comes with the weapon and this chief. I don't know if it comes with this. I don't know if it comes with the energy sword. I don't know what weapons. I haven't looked at it. I don't plan on getting it um, just because I'm trying to be a little bit more tight with money right now and not buy everything. So if you notice a little bit of a slower, you know, upload schedule, that's probably why. I've also haven't been in a super, like, kind of like wanting to record mindset i have been but that i'm not i've been really tired lately um and then i also changed the background up a little bit as you can see we cut the whole top of the hall of armor off we probably cut like one or two off from the download bit as well um i did change some things around in the room i have to find a home for the uh hasbro marvel legends galactus um has lab that i need to find a home for so i had to move some things around got a new bookcase to put the pokemon figures on so there's a whole slew of changes that i had to make this last week so i've been a little busy haven't really been like recording playing a lot of arc though um but other than that hopefully you guys did enjoy i will see you guys all in the next one if you haven't done so already would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe if you're new it does help me out a lot do greatly appreciate it i try to get videos out at least two a week this week's just gonna be one on friday normally i like to do a tuesday thursday upload schedule sometimes i do monday wednesday friday i might try and do an every other week thing like that where friday we do more of a discussion video where i talk about one specific topic whether it be the spartan collection maybe a wish list a want list maybe we talk about the you know quality of the figures maybe we talk about a wish list and a want list for the pokemon jazz wear line something along the lines of something marvel legend related pokemon halo maybe star wars but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i will catch you all in the next one hopefully you guys 
been having a good week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you maybe Tuesday for a video. I still want to review the Hammond Collection T-Rex, Gallimimus, look out for both of those. I got the Fortnite Victory Royale Metal Mouth to do, I got a Joy Toy, uh, Joy Toy Space Marine, um, Warhammer 40K, K Space Marine Blood Angel figure. I got a lot of figures to review, so if you want to see any of those, what you want to see first, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to probably record some of those this weekend. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good one, everyone.